Alright, what is up you guys? I'm here with the Royal Rumble 2008 pay-per-view DVD review. And uh, this one was also released in FYE 10. Similar to a few of the pay-per-views they were doing back then. But, you know, very, uh, very cool addition if you have it. It's pretty cheap on eBay. But we have your return to Madison Square Garden, New York City. And that is reflected by the poster here. And the original poster uh, didn't have John Cena, Triple H, Undertaker, and Shawn Michaels. But that was later added in for the DVD. Um, you know, you could say it's a clusterfuck. It's kind of a mess. But I, I like this poster. I do. But overall, I think it's a good DVD cover. I'll show you the spine there. Alright, so... You're back here. This one was one of the first ones to follow this kind of trend on DVD covers where they would have the match listing on the side and then all your superstars in the line there. Um, go back and look at a lot of the 2008 DVDs. They're pretty much all the same on the back. Some kind of straight away from that, but for the most part it was the same. Alright, so we had Ric Flair versus MVP. Career threatening match. Very obvious match result there. Chris Jericho and JBL, decent match, ended in a disqualification, kind of anticlimactic, because they were actually supposed to face each other at WrestleMania when that was later changed, so this was all they had on pay-per-view at least. Um, Edge versus Rey Mysterio for the World Heavyweight Championship, a yeah, decent World Heavyweight title match, did what it had to do, um, kind of an obvious match result as well. And then we had Randy Orton versus Intercontinental Champion Jeff Hardy. I remember I was always really upset that Jeff Hardy didn't win the title on this pay-per-view. But overall, I do think it was the... Um, it's a, actually a good decision. Very good decision. Um, Randy Orton had to go into WrestleMania World Champion. And it kind of made it that much better of a build for Jeff Hardy. Because he would later win the title in December of 2008 and it was one of those things where it was building you know he would always come this close and then he would um, he would eventually fall but he did eventually win at Armageddon so I, I remember being really mad at that match result but um, looking in retrospect it was a good decision all right and then obviously you have your 2008 Royal Rumble match I think this is a solid Royal Rumble match. You had John Cena come back number 30 to win. I thought that was really cool. Especially at the time. And this was kind of when he was reaching his Super Cena hatred period. But, you know, I thought it was a good good win. And then we also had um, Roddy Piper, one of my favorites of all time, coming in. And then you had Jimmy Snuka. Not the biggest Jimmy Snuka fan. But... Uh, you also had Mick Foley as well. It's great to see Roddy Piper in the Rumble match. Love it. So, um, it also started with Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. Very cool way to begin it. Begin it the way you ended it the year before. So, really cool how they did that. Alright, so the Intercontinental Championship match is an extra. Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton. And that was their final original Ruthless Aggression Raw Titatron moment so kind of cool to have that that was when Jeff Hardy jumped off the stage I remember that like it was yesterday great moment and then we have Triple H talking to John Cena post Royal Rumble match and Spanish commentary is included so opening it up we don't have an insert 2008 was kind of weird for inserts along with 2007 but you always did get this um chance to win the DVD collection for 2008. Why not just print the damn thing on the back? Like, whatever. I, I'm really anal about inserts. And we also have your disc art. It is kind of a cool picture that you have the raw stage in the background. Alright, so, that about does it for Royal Rumble 2008. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of this pay-per-view. This has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.